Hey guys, say your hair and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you've already been here, thanks for coming back. So it is that time of the month, you guys. It is time for me to share with you the products that I have been loving for the month of January. It is our first favorite video for the year 2023. If you are new to the channel, at the end of every month, I share with you guys the products that I have been loving. Some of these products are new and some are just rediscoveries from my very own collection. I did this last year and the year before, so I will have a playlist list up above so you can check out previous monthly favorites videos this month I have a bit of makeup skincare hair care body care and fragrance so if you are interested in seeing then please keep on watching before we start the video please make sure you are subscribed to the channel please turn your post notifications on so you get notified every time your girl uploads a video and follow me on Instagram and with that being said, let's jump right into the video. All right, you guys, so I'm going to start with makeup. The first thing that I have is pretty obvious. This is the new makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation. I have this in the shade 24N. I did do a full review on this, so I will have that up above. But a quick update, I have been loving this foundation. It is a really nice, luminous, blurring kind of foundation. I find that it wears pretty well, and I've been loving it. I really want to see how this wears going into the warmer months it is flawless on the skin i feel like it looks really really good in pictures if you are looking for a new foundation to try out you are going to love this if you have dry skin you're going to love this if you have oily skin paired with the right primer you are going to love this it is a really nice lightweight blurring kind of foundation and i've been loving this the next product that i have is a sample that i got from sephora this is from charlotte tilbury this is the airbrush flawless finish setting powder i have it in the shade medium you guys this is one of the best setting powders that I've tried. It blurs the under eyes. It looks so smooth under your eyes. I know this is supposed to be an all over face powder, but I like the shade number two as a setting powder. You know, I love the Airbrush Flawless Brightening Powder. This one has a yellow undertone to it, so I prefer to use this shade to brighten, whereas this one has a neutral undertone to it. So when you press this under your eyes, it literally melts into the skin and your under eyes look so smooth. I'm not going to purchase it right now. I'm going to wait for the Sephora sale because I have a few powders that I want to finish up but I have been loving this and I feel like it is super super long wearing if you like the formula for this one I feel like the formula is pretty similar the main difference is the undertone the next makeup product that I have is from makeup forever you guys know I love a good nude lip and with a good nude lip you need a good brown liner and this one from makeup forever is that if I could change anything about this liner I wish it was like a retractable liner but it sharpens really really good and it stays pointy for long I have this in the shade 608 limitless brown this is the perfect brown liner it is deep enough it is rich enough it wears really really well I did use it on my lips today if you are looking for a good brown liner try this one out from makeup forever if you want something a little bit deeper they have another shade up but I love love this shade so that is pretty much it for makeup i have a few brushes that i quickly want to mention from bk beauty that i have been loving the first one is the 106 foundation brush this is no stranger to my channel i love this brush for applying foundation i love the size of this brush i feel like it is dense but not too dense it is fluffy but not too fluffy it is just the perfect shape it is the perfect foundation brush if you are looking for a new foundation brush to try out try this one from bk the next one that i have been loving is the 109 brush so you guys know i love the 101 and the a506 brush this is like a angled concealer brush this is pretty much a smaller version to the 101 brush so it's angled it is perfect to apply blush perfect to apply cream bronzer if you are familiar with the e63 brush from morphe this one is just a little bit smaller than the one from morphe and i feel like the top is a little bit flatter it's a little bit more angled i love both of these brushes but if you feel like the morphe was probably a little bit too big for you then this is a really really good one as i said it is the perfect like one and done kind of brush it's good to apply foundation good to apply cream blushes cream bronzer it is a really really nice brush and i've been loving this by the way let me know if you guys would like to see a video with my must-have makeup brushes okay you guys so moving on to hair care i have a few products that i have been loving the first one that i have i saw kendra kinesthetic hair on youtube use this in one of her vlogs and i purchased it immediately this is from african pride this is the moisture miracle aloe and coconut water detangling pre shampoo this is 
everything you guys i'm going to try my best to insert a clip or a picture on the screen of what this looks like when i apply it to my hair this you apply to dry hair this makes it so easy to detangle my hair it hydrates the hair when i rinse this out i can feel the difference on my hair it's like my hair has a second layer of moisture my curls look so defined my curls look so popping as i said you apply this to dry hair and instantly your curls will look so defined you keep it in for about 15 to 30 minutes then you rinse it out and move on with the rest of your wash day if you're looking for a good pre-shampoo try this one out it is really really good the next product that i have been loving is from briogeo this is the rice amino leave-in defining cream this is another one that is so slept on i don't hear a lot of talk about this this is a really nice leave-in cream if you want something that is super lightweight that isn't going to weigh your hair down this is for you if you do a lot of like wash and goes you are going to love this this is going to define your curls it's going to look so juicy so bouncy and when your hair dries it doesn't look frizzy but it feels hydrated and the curls are going to be popping i have been loving this i'm almost done with this and this is one that i would definitely repurchase i did receive this in pr as i said i haven't heard a lot of talk about it but i tried it and i really really enjoyed this if you're looking for a good leave-in conditioner especially if you do a lot of like wash and goes try this one out from briogeo another product that i've been really liking from briogeo is the don't despair repair deep conditioning mask this is another one that i'm almost done with i don't think you guys can see but i'm almost done with this this is a really nice deep conditioner if you've heard about briogeo chances are you've heard of this product it is a really nice deep conditioner it does hydrate the hair it also helps with defining your curls when you rinse this out your hair looks super shiny and feels hydrated i believe this is on sale right now on sephora in a set with the shampoo i have the shampoo but i'm still trying it out because it's kind of a different kind of shampoo it's more of like an exfoliating shampoo so i want to try a bit more before i tell you guys run and go grab it but if you want to try this mask i 10 out of 10 definitely recommend it it is very very hydrating and my hair has been loving this the next product that i have is also from african pride this is also a part of the moisture miracle line this is the leave-in cream this one i use as as a moisturizer because it is like a thicker cream it's not as light as the briogeo i use this to do like a dry twist out and y'all when i tell you my twist came out so good this right now is like day three twist out and you can definitely still see the curls if you love a good twist out and you prefer to do it on dry hair try this one out from african pride very very hydrating very moisturizing even though it's a thicker cream it's not heavy on the hair your hair is going to feel really moisturized and your twist out is going to look so good try this one out i've been really loving this okay you guys so moving on to skincare the first thing that i have is a new spf this is from cerave this is the ultra light moisturizing lotion with spf 30 if you are looking for a new spf if you're looking for a one and done spf to use all year round this is it this is it it is moisturizing it is not greasy on the skin it doesn't leave a white cast it wears really really well on your makeup it doesn't feel heavy on the skin it doesn't burn your eyes it is a beautiful spf you guys know i've been on the spf hunt lately and i've been loving the isn't tree spf but i ordered this one from stylevana and it usually takes about three weeks for me to get my order so i was looking for something to use in between while i wait for my order something that is very affordable and this is it you guys this is it it is under $20 so a while back I told you guys that I'm going to make it a habit to reapply my SPF and ever since then I've noticed that a 50 ml of SPF will last me about three weeks so I want to use SPF that are more affordable I love using super group I love my Peter Thomas Roth SPF but that SPF is like 60 something dollars so I don't want to be buying a SPF for $60 every three weeks so I'm looking for more affordable options and I think Think i've finally found the one i've tried a ton of spfs if you're looking for a good one try this one out as i said it's under 20 dollars and it's just the perfect spf so in my most recent product empties video i told you guys that i found a better version to the liquid exfoliant from paula Stroy, something that is going to be perfect for sensitive skin but i told you guys i wanted to try a bit more before i tell you guys to run and go buy it i've tried it and i love it you guys this is also from paula's choice this is the one percent bha sensitive skin 
skin exfoliant in comparison to the liquid exfoliant this one is one percent so this one you will have to be a little bit more consistent with it but over time you will definitely see results it, your skin is definitely going to be smooth this one is more of like a serum it gives the skin a really nice glow when you apply it i'm just going to pump it out so you can see what it looks like the liquid exfoliant goes on more like water this one is more of like a serum but it is very very lightweight and it leaves your skin with a really nice glow and the next morning when you wake up your skin is going to feel really nice and smooth i've been using this for a while my skin does not feel irritated or anything like that don't get me wrong i love the two percent but i feel like this one is perfect if you have sensitive skin if you've tried the two percent and it was a bit much for you i feel like you'd really really like this one the next product that i have i talked about it already but i'm going to tell you guys about it again this is the good molecules discoloration serum i love this serum so much this is another one that is good for sensitive skin if you have dark spots hyperpigmentation that you want to work on try this one out you can literally use this every single day and you will not have any irritation you can use this day and night just make sure you are following with spf it is really really nice it isn't as strong as the topicals faded serum so you have to be consistent with this to see results but once you are consistent trust me you are going to see results i finished up a bottle of this and i went ahead and i picked up another one i love my topicals faded serum it has done wonders for my skin but my skin isn't as bad as it was before so for the few scars that i want to fade i feel like i don't need something as harsh so this is perfect for my skin as i said if you have sensitive skin try this one out if you want something that is stronger try the topicals i will have both linked down below but this i have been loving it okay you guys so for body care the first thing that i have is from native this is the sugar cookie body wash it smells so good it lathers really really nicely it goes well with a lot of my fragrance combos if you haven't tried the sugar cookie body wash you really need to try it out i'm not sure if it's still available i'll check and see if i can find a link and put it down below for you guys but the hype around this body wash is real it smells really really good the next thing that i have been loving is from fenty skin this is the limited edition vanilla dream body butter this smells so good it is a really nice cozy kind of vanilla if you love a good vanilla body butter that is going to layer with a lot of fragrances try this out the formula is really really nice i love the formula of fenty body butter i feel like this one is a little bit more hydrating than the original but if you love the formula you love vanilla try this one out another body cream that i have been loving is from bath and body works this is the scent christmas cookies this is the ultimate warm cozy christmas cookie scent this pairs really really well with the native sugar cookie by the way update on the native body lotion i did not like it at all you guys i tossed that body lotion i feel like the formula isn't good it is too liquidy and you have to rub it in and i don't mind rubbing it in the more i rub it in it started to like flake up on my body and then it smells like play-doh to me i don't know if it's just me but i tried it like three or four times and every time it's the same thing it doesn't matter if i have other products on my body or if i just use it on its own it just comes up on me and it smells like play-doh i don't know if i got a bad batch so i just tossed it but these two together absolutely amazing this is what i expect from like a cookie kind of scent love this all right you guys so finally for fragrances i have a body mist and two fragrances so i'm going to start with the body mist it is from bath and body works this is the scent christmas cookies as i said before i love the christmas cookie body lotion but this you guys is everything if you love the sol de janeiro trosa 71 and you don't want to break the bank this is it i heard that this was a dupe so i had to pick it up and you guys it is spot on the notes for this one is creamy cookie dough almond biscotti and caramel woods a very cozy warm vanilla caramel cookie kind of scent it smells very very similar to chirosa 71 from sol de janeiro so if you wanted to try that and you don't want to break the bank try this one out from bath and body works i have been loving this like this has been my go-to shower routine for that nice sweet cozy caramel kind of scent beautiful together you guys so the next fragrance that i have is one that i sampled in my most recent haul this is from zerjoff this is dama bianca 
this smells divine you guys i got this from twisted lily they were kind enough to send this over to me you guys this smells so good it is the ultimate clean girl kind of vanilla this is one that i would reach for all year round if you're looking for a good vanilla to try you want something that is soft something that isn't super offensive but smells really good and you're going to get compliments try this one out if you want to try this out you can get it from twisted lily i have a discount code for you guys you don't have to commit to the full size if you don't want to twisted lily offers samples so i will have that linked down below for you guys but i have been loving this fragrance and i'm so happy that i finally have this in my collection and the final fragrance that i have is another one that i'm currently trying and i love this and i'm definitely going to pick this up for the spring and summer months and this is the newest fragrance from clean reserve this is sparkling sugar if you love a good clean musky fresh sweet not too sweet fruity but not too fruity sparkling fizzy kind of scent you are going to love this this smells so good you guys i did not expect to like this i got this as a sample in one of my sephora orders and i decided to smell it and you guys this smells amazing i feel like it's going to be perfect for spring and summer i feel like this is going to layer really nicely with la venture femme i feel like it's going to layer nicely with eden juicy apple from keoli this smells so good if you're looking for a spring and summer fragrance try sparkling sugar from clean reserve i'm 100 going to pick this up in a full size all right you guys so that is everything that i have been loving for the month of january everything that i mentioned in today's video i will have linked down below for you guys let me know the products that you have been loving this month once again i really hope you guys enjoyed this video really hope you found it helpful don't forget to like share comment subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in my next one bye